This is UK Truck Spawn and Gaming here, and today um, I will be going through things I want for Farming Simulator 19 Xbox and PC Edition. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, number one is um, I would like to see opening doors and windows on inside all your equipment is standard. Because if you're one of those people who like to do role plays, it would be better because then it means you have to open up the door to get out your tractor, which is realistic instead of relying on mods. I know, I know mods are nice, but we could always have that feature as the in-game. So then if, there, if someone's doing like the no mods challenge, it would be fine. Next, second one is grass fields on standard map. This is what I've been wanting for ages, and that is a grass, uh, maybe like two or three grass fields on an in-game map. That's what I just want, like, it'd be better than seeding your own field as grass. Because then, it could make a wee bit of realism, because you won't see on those branches a massive amount of arable fields, you'll see a mixture of arable and grass. Third of all, is also map related, and this is for um, PC and console, and this is a more like, we've had European maps, so now you know, we have like a fictional UK or Irish map. Because then, that means like, it'll just be different, instead of relying on mods, because the mods, it would take a while for someone to make a mod for FS19. Well, no, there is, but this could be for the next one. UK map. Or UK styled map. Or Irish style map. So you have to drive on the left. And all your equipment will be left hand drive. No, right hand drive. I mean, that gets on to another point. This is still point three. Well, whatever point this is, so. This is point three. Why don't you get customization for the lorries and the cars in the game to have a right hand drive and a left hand drive configuration? Because then giants can make a UK styled map, but then a European styled map, but then you've got the option between the you've got the option to change in between left or right hand drive. That'd be amazing. That would be very nice. I'd realism. Number four. Is. This is quite even an unusual one for me. But it is. More. Customization options. For tractors. So like. CB radios. Extra lights. Air horns. Window stickers. Basically stuff you get. For um contract yourself it would be different and it would be nice because it would then mean that you could take your tractor and you could you could buy your tractor but then it'll have like all the fancy mod cons like gps and um like some of the um systems to work like the draw skin or the vinui spreaders um and then, like, have the air horns and the lights and the CB. So then, if you're doing multiplayer, like the CB, you could pretend that you're in like a voice, like you could be in a voice trial on Discord, and then like use the CB to talk to each other. That'd be awesome. Next one, number five is more manufacturers in the game. Now I know we've got MEN as a like more truck manufacturers and. Maybe some car manufacturers. So like, maybe we get like maybe pickups, but then we also maybe get like estate cars or saloon cars. Um, it's like or maybe a whole hatchback for maybe like fuel cars. So then there's a wee bit of fun, but like truck manufacturers. I wouldn't mind like seeing maybe Scania in the game, and maybe bring out their Streamline series because if they manage to get this, if Giants, if you're watching. Please, can you ask Scania for licensing so then you could get a streamline in the game and have it like completely modded out, like bow bar, extra lights.
basically the exact same as what LMC does, but it's like actual branded and it's a streamline instead of it being an X-Rime because I really like streamlines. Um, so I know some extra has a love tax, so try and see if Number six. This is a wee bit of a weird one. A very peculiar one. Why don't we get on Farming Simulator 19 some. So I know we've got tractor missions, but why don't we have truck missions? So, like, we actually have to bring maybe a truck with a low loader, pick up a tractor, and drive it over to another destination, or maybe like fuel transport. Water transport, that'd be nice. Because then that means we could use trucks more often. Because I don't, I think 60% of us users on Farming Cemetery use a tractor. If not 80% use a tractor for everything. So why not we just get maybe more lorry contracts or truck contracts, depending on what country you're from? Next, um, I would like to see on maybe a future FS or maybe this FS when update 1.7 comes out I wouldn't mind there being um like I know you get like excavators and that but why not we have like this is more um, against the contract inside the thing demolition contracts because that would be Awesome, and also demolition in general. So, like, say you're one, and this is for console as well. So, like, you take down the building, but then there's stuff in the way. So then you have to get a wheel loader, and then you take it, and then you take off to like a dump site, and then you get money for selling it. Like, say on, let's think of a map here. Let's say um, the um. I'm just thinking of a quick map here. Let's say Ravenport, when you start up on a new farm, and you get that really big red shed. Why couldn't you just buy the excavator with a bucket, and then you, like, you could just knock down the building? Because then, that means, or like something within the base game which isn't a placeable, like, say on Meadow Grove Farm, you don't want to get, you don't want two silage pits. Instead, you maybe want one silage pit and maybe one shed. Just get take down the um thing and then maybe get roadworks equipment and um build a new shed instead of having a bunker silo. How cool would that be? And then I want contracts as well. So then you get a truck with a low loader. And then you take an excavator. That would be amazing. That would really enhance farming simulator. Because then, you could dig yourself your own slurry pit. I mean, maybe that will require a few scripting, but that would be nice. Maybe be able to maybe dig your own slurry pit. But then, like, hmm, how would that work for? Well, dig a hole, and then maybe, um, maybe just put unwanted stuff in there, like a scrap pile. That'd be awesome. Um, next would be, this is a very nice um, addition, which I would like, being able um, to, being able to make, um, I'm just thinking here, because I've, I've gone through quite a few. Is this number eight? I don't know. Um, what's up? Oh yeah, get get more like this is more for the UK side of things for maybe modders or um in game like giant software. Why don't you get the? Why don't you have to get like the potato harvester? But like it's one of those where you stand at the back of it and then you have to make sure there's no like bad things. And then it goes into potato boxes. And then you go over to your yard. You get the potato boxes back to your yard. You put them away. And then if you keep them for maybe a, a while. You get more money. That will be good. It will definitely enhance the UK side of farming. Because I'm the, sort of peop I'm the sort of person where. They do like 
European maps, like my current series is on Elabash. Still haven't uploaded two videos for that yet. Ah. Uh, I'll have to do it today. If I don't do it today, um, remind me to do it tomorrow. We'll probably forget then. But, like, I go on Elabash, and I like that map. But I also like maybe doing it on, like, Middle Grove or something. Because... I get both the UK and Europe combined, but then I really, I really like UK because I'm from the UK, so like having that ability would be really nice. Um, next up will be um, this is more for the animal side of things. When you get the livestock trailers, um. Why don't you have the bit? Why don't you have to put down the back of the trailers? So like, if you're using the um, oh, uh, the big free axle livestock trailer, the in-game one. I've forgotten the name of it. Um, if someone can remember me that, please too. Um, I remember that. Like, but you have to put down the ramps at the back. And then you'll be able to open up your animal dialogue instead of opening up your animal dialogue when your ramps drop. That's a wee bit unrealistic. That's what I was thinking. And then, like, for the water tanker, like, a hose actually comes out of it. Um, like, there's, like, a hose next to the water tankers. And then, like, when you're going to a um, thing, like a water thing, water fountain... Um, the water, like, there's a hose connecting from the water fountain, or pond, to the trailer. Um, that'll be nice. Um, next, which I believe is number nine. I don't know if I've lost count. Um, well, this one is, like, maybe... Um, this is one that I was thinking of. For a while. And this is a no HUD. It's like if you're doing like a role play and you don't and you're on console. I don't really want to see the time and the date at the top left hand side of my corner. Cause that kinda gets rid of the purpose of being a role play because people can still see how much money you've got. So why don't we just get a no HUD feature for like so like we can get no HUDs for the PC, so why don't we get this for the console? So, like, maybe underneath the help window? Well, maybe it says help window off? Or maybe just, instead of being, like, well, help window on or off, and then maybe the HUD on and off underneath that? That'd be cool. That'd be really nice, actually. Um, because then that means it could be, like, a roleplay type thing. And this will be the final one for today. And that is, um... This is more on the agricultural side. Now, I know people are wanting used pieces of equipment. But then, that means... Because I'm, I, I quite like used equipment, but still, I quite like them being new. Because then that means they last longer and I don't have to spend like a, a thousand quid on them. So, why don't we get restoration projects? It's like we buy a tractor off the... Um, shop but then it's really bad like it's in a really bad state like rust and everything we take it back to our yard and then we have to buy parts for it or like we have to do something to restore it that would be amazing like we like we could have a farming summit to restoration um or restoration restoration <sighs> i'm gonna get hated for that um but yeah just think of, like, other ways we could do this. Um, yeah. So, that is my top 10, or top 11, I think that was. These are things I want for console and PC to have for Falling Smith 19 or Advanced. If you do have anything to ask about that, or any um, thing regarding that, or any more features that you want... Please comment them down below in the description. Um, also, feel free to like the video. And also, um, share the video to your friends. Now, I did say we'll be doing a, fif a 55 subscriber special birthday stream. We're still two subs off, so... 
yeah, if we can get two subscribers, and um, by the end of this week, so today's Monday, so we've got Sunday, I will get those two videos uploaded, okay? So, that's it for me, UK Truck Spawn and Gaming, and that would be me, going on the PC. Thanks for watching, bye for now.